Today's flea market adventure is brought to you by the letter T, as in tossed aside, because that is exactly how I came across the best finds of the day at the flea market. So join me and see what someone else tossed aside that they consider trash that is a true treasure. We gotta power walk it because the reason that I go to this flea market has arrived. <laughs> the tote man is here. Maybe he'll have great stuff like the other two weeks. Add more to my collection. The tote man has arrived. Get out of my way. He's here. Oh, we could be the first ones to get a gravel bin. Go, go, go. I'll ask him which bin has the photos in it. <laughs> you can't even see him. What if I, uh... Oh, oh gosh, they all fell over. I like these. I, don't, I mean, yeah, you can use them for junk journals. Yeah. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. As they all fall out and over, got pans. We got this guy. <laughs> He's ready for this day. It's a big Halloween day. So I think all the totes are out. Not center. This is from last the other week. He's bringing old totes. How dare he? Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, we found Jesus again. This bag. It's gonna be the death of me. Is that a hot dog? That's a hot dog costume for a hot dog. Oh, I see paper. There it is, frozen. Frozen. I, I took this one out. It's a hot dog costume. Oh, okay. Yeah, I opened it. I opened it. There's a whole hot dog costume in here. That's so cute. I'm sweating. I, I oh sorry, Buddha. I have way too many layers on for this. smaller things though. <laughs> put Pluto back in there. We got that Pillsbury Doughboy land over here. See now I'm looking at this stuff underneath. It feels like mud. Yep. I think some of that Pillsbury Doughboy is actually collect. Well, I mean, it, I guess it's all collectible to someone that collects Pillsbury Doughboy. But um, there's certain ones, like probably this canister set, that's worth a decent amount of money. Mm, this is actually pretty nice. Oh, like the refit thing for the refit. What's this? Oh, wow. That's the first time I've seen one of those. 
pretty bad when feeding frenzy is the best group here, right? Yeah. Elvis? Oh my gosh, we gotta take that. Okay, I gotta put my bag down. I'm gonna look through this too. Someone, I think, would buy that. Uh, I think they're more geared towards like Mary, Mother Mary at my flea market. They really enjoy the Mary icons. We'll throw that over there for now. We got Heidi. We got a whole ceramic. That's a bunny. We got that guy, Shirley Temple. Apples. Don't want to break the Easter cross. I think we just have a set of apple stuff down there. I saw them. You know, could you just see how old? Whoa, yeah. Irish thatch cottages with background with artwork is done in natural fibers and is signed by a craft person. Oh, that's actually really cute. I'll take you. Yeah, they labeled everything. It's this one. It's Cape May Mansion artwork. Trip with Elaine. Those are like the kinds you buy in them. Oh my gosh, those are sealed Christmas albums. What's in this box? What's in this box? We have a travel iron, instant hair roller set, which I probably looked out of. Okay, please be. That's a robe. <laughs> so the guy that was just like putting all the World War II stuff aside just threw this back out. Why wouldn't you? Well, thank you, sir. Waiting to piece her. He threw all of it back in here. Oh my gosh, that's my lucky day. Oh my gosh, it's my lucky day. He even threw this in there. Tournament of the Roses. Might as well grab that. Yeah, that's all wrecked. I don't know why I didn't want it, but thank goodness. And thank goodness I walked by here because I'm sure someone else would have gobbled that up. Is that an apron? It is. Let's take it. <laughs> this turned out to be a good day. What's in here? I'm going to get some knife. No, I was right. Look at that. Eventually, you figure it out. This, this tote looks interesting. Let's see what we got over here. Kid Rock. Boom, diggy boom. These are nice. I don't think they're old, but they're still nice. Some jewelry, we're in the jewelry section again. Gotta unwrap it. What is it? A little teddy bear. Put that guy over there. And the jewelry. Ooh, Amari. My mom always wore that. Which I think she still wears it. Christmas present. Ooh, we're playing hands. We have entered the Jesus section. I like older newspaper down here. Oh, oh my gosh, it's more Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> Is that a brass pig? What the heck? I'm gonna put him in my bag. This is all Pillsbury. We got some beanie babies down there. Oh, I don't need a Pillsbury Doughboy. I'm sure someone. Oh, 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 oh. oh. We got the left and chicks. They're a surprise. I'm literally running out of room. <sighs> Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, the Yankee wallet. What's in this guy? Oh, that's a Pillsbury dude. See, everyone makes piles. Uh, they put their piles to the side. Sometimes they, you know, they don't have to deal with people digging through them, and other times you gotta let people know, hey, that's my pile. So this is my pile. So I go through it and I pick out what I really like, what I think will sell. Um, sometimes I do look things up. This one's really cute, Balmora. What if I wore that? Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I'll go through and I'll see what I want, what I need, what I don't want. And then I'll go back and I'll look through more of the totes again. But yeah, that dude put back... The man put back these papers. 
1945, the forces board the beanie, Beano up until the present dormant and tomb of the Tropic Emberns have finally decided to do something about it. Listed below are the names of us who are about to attempt to bring variety into life. <laughs> this is like a story this guy wrote. Radio Press News, Soviets 38 miles from Berlin, official. The Bueno Bino Bugle. Huh. Well, he put it back, so it is mine now. Navy Department, Bureau of Investigation, Navy Motion Picture Service, Inspection and Exhibit Report. Title, Footlight Serenade. Oh my gosh. Ship, oh, this is where they exhibited the movies. Oh, this is so neat. This program is not to be exhibited at any shore station prior to 11 42. Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. Toban came through again. Actually, thankfully, this guy put this stuff back. Oh no, I just think I just heard the Toman say he's not going to be here for the last weekend of the flea market. Oh, how could he do this to us? So these were all the papers that the man like was just tossing aside and he didn't want. 3rd Battalion, 3rd Platoon at Fort Salvor. Oh my goodness. This, this literally was my lucky day. Map of Miami Beach, Trinidad, Telephone Talkers Manual. But then there's all these, oh shoot. Crystal Market. They probably got these when they were over there. World War II Chronicle. I mean, he was just like tossing them aside because he didn't want them. So I was just taking it as he was tossing. 1942, 1941. Selective service. Give him nothing. What? I was U.S. Navy but unable to provide evidence? That doesn't make any sense. We got some investigating to do. Hawaii National Park. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm not supposed to take that stuff. We have this guy. I don't even know what that is of. A Bethlehem Steel notebook. Oh. I, I don't know. He didn't want any of it, so. This is. I mean, I, I don't know if this would be war related. It's probably. We'll use the Google Translate, but we're going to take that. Ooh, a telephone directory. All this. Just tossing it aside. Another good flea market day with the Tote Man. He was the only person that I shopped with. It's the end of the season for the flea market. There is one weekend left, and so there's not a lot of vendors out. But the Tote Man was there. And did I find some things? So I found a mixture from ephemera to clothing to practical, useful items for myself. And the best things that I found were because some man looked through a tote and just choo, choo, let's toss this aside, toss this aside. But we'll get to that, we'll get to that. Let's get to some of the other things that I found. I did find some vintage Christmas items. Uh, the one that I found, the little boy, he was broken. If I even got that on camera, who knows? You know, in the excitement of the tote man, no idea if my camera is even working. I got some of the ceramic Christmas mugs. There were a lot of ceramics today. We got those Raggedy Ann and Andy little ceramic guys. In terms of clothing, I picked up two pieces of, we'll call it retro clothes. One was a dress and the other one was that cute top. They smell of mothballs. So those are outside in this brisk wind, the fall morning air getting a little airing out. But I found some items for my own practical use. Uh, these, This is NYNC, New York and Company. I love these nice soft shirts uh, to stay at home and work in. We also got this thermal from Old Navy. It's a little too big for me, but again, stay at home shirt. $24.99, original price, still with the tag on it. You're not paying $24.99 for this at the Tote Man. You bundle and you get a good deal. So we got those. We also got some hats. <laughs> this is from Balmoral, which, Balmoral Castle. Was that with Downton Abbey? 
Oh no, that was with the queen, I think. Wasn't that in the, anyway. Um, this is a size medium, made in Canada. So I guess the little flap goes on the back. Yeah, cause that's, oh, it goes on the side. Oh yeah, I look great. <laughs> we got this one. Uh, this is Highland Arts Scotland. I'm sure this will, uh, these don't, these don't do me, don't do me any good. <laughs> Oh, we found Elvis today. Elvis did not leave the building. Elvis was at the flea market. Uh, There's this great Elvis tapestry, which was just hanging out and no one wanted it. I mean, I don't know why. I don't see any holes. So the king is still alive and he's at the flea market. Uh, made in Turkey. Hey, Elvis, Elvis, let me be. Keep that pelvis away from me. <laughs> Uh, that's I, I'm, I'm honestly shocked no one picked that up because that was just hanging out there all right let's get to oh wait one more thing I did pick up a few books including this woman a pictorial archive from 19th century sources 488 copyright free illustrations for artists and designers oh just what I need oh look oh oh someone already like was printing them out I like things that are copyright free. Anyway, so we got that and I got some other books and some other paper, but let's get, let's get to the paper. So there was a tote. I don't know if I was recording, but I saw this man going through the tote and there was paper. Now, proper etiquette, you don't reach in there. You don't. He has first dibs on that tote. Um, I was standing kind of off in between some other totes and he was putting what he didn't want in the tote next to that tote. So I thought, well, you don't want this. I will take it. So he put something over. I would wait a few you know, seconds, give him some time. And then I would put in my bag. He kept doing that. It kept going to my bag. And then he had this. And it said relating to, I don't know, P... PCER 850, uh, whatever. And he was looking at it. I saw that it was like some old paper. And I'm like, oh, what's he gonna do? So I'm standing there. I'm looking at some other toads with my eye, you know, still peering. And he took this envelope. Okay, you know, he, he left everything else. And there was some, you know, I think Japanese ephemera in there, some old 1940s phone books, some other war related items. And then lo and behold, I'm, I'm walking down a, a line of totes probably half an hour later and there's this. He left it. He didn't want it. He put it back and it's all mine. <laughs> so this, I didn't go through it all, but it's typed. Um, we're going to call them newsletters because I think that's basically what it is. Probably um, from some company. Uh, in the war and it looks like it goes what the articles antidotes and volumes written about the great homespun american have served far better than this humble ability to bring him up to our age to transplant rail split, splitting abe lincoln to 1945. so i don't i'm, I'm gonna have to do here. So let us know how you like it. Get freely of your criticism, gang, and help us to make your paper something good. I think we can do it, and among the hundred or so of us, there's no reason why we can't look back on 1945 and say, I'm not going to say, oh my gosh, there's even drawings that they drew. You probably can't see it. In case you've never been there. So this one he's talking about Washington, D.C. There's more. This is great. 19 February, 1945. Yeah, these are like typed in and signed the editor. Yangtze here. It is cold on the upper reaches of the Yangtze here in March. I have no idea, but this is amazing. So we got that. 
Um, and then again, we got this uh, inspection and exhibition report of this motion picture uh, that they showed during World War II. Um, we have some other Newsweek, 1934, Mickey the Manager. Is that the Mick? Is that Mickey Mantle? Let's see. Index. The cover. Yeah, Mickey the Man. Oh no. Gor Mickey the Manager, Gordon Stanley Cochran, Mickey to the Fans, Coacher, Coacher, Catcher, and Manager of the Detroit Tigers. That's not Mickey Mantle. I don't know anything about baseball. So there's that. Um, then we also have this. It's 1941 1942. Selective service info involving me. I mean, there's like notice of classification, report of induction of selective service man. He was a cable splicer's helper, age 23. Congress has now, this is January 8th, 1942. The Congress has now enacted legislation permitting reclassification of registrants who have been deferred by reason of age. Men deferred since July 1st, 1941 because they were 28 or more years of age should be reclassified immediately. So this person has be, been reclassified as class one available. You will receive notice to be physically examined shortly. I wonder what they thought when they read that. So, uh, there's, oh, and then there's this, the whole, how long is this guy? <laughs> he didn't want it. I even saw him pick this up and then he put it back. And he didn't want this either. Thank you, thank you. 3rd Battalion, Company D, 3rd Platoon at Fort, he says Fort Selvore. Oh, these, this is a great photo. This is the kind, you know, you see them in those long frames and then at auctions they sell for like 50 bucks, maybe, but wow. What happened to all these men? So yes, tossed aside, unwanted and I have a whole stack of other paper that the guy just kept so my my lucky day I was in the right place the right time and I was patient because I'm sure if I would have walked away those papers would have been gone but I was courteous to the man I wasn't breaching I wasn't grabbing he just put them in another tote because he didn't want them and I scooped them up <laughs> Uh, so I have to go through this, see what this is all about. Um, but man, I will miss the toe man when he when the flea market season is done because these last few weeks he's been bringing out his best stuff. So that was my flea market day. We got ephemera, we got some clothing. I even got a curling iron still in the package that I can use. Maybe one day we'll see when I want to get fancy. But yeah, so another flea market in the books. Things tossed aside meant for me i guess i guess so you can look at it that way you know he didn't want it i was in the right place i got them and now i can read these enjoy them do some research and maybe even make some money with reselling some of these things and i have 488 copyright free illustrations who knows what i can do <laughs> Oh, it has been a good flea market day, that is for sure. If you're going out to your local flea market, I hope you find some treasure. I hope you find something that someone else looks at and they don't want. And you're in the right place and the right time and you can scoop it up and come home with something that you love. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this. Stay tuned for the next adventure. Oh, flea market. This is There's one more weekend of this flea market and then that's it. So let's hope that that weekend is the best. If the total man's not there, then it's done. Then the season is done and over with kaput <laughs> we'll have to wait and see what happens uh, thank you again i think i've said that already but yes thank you so much for watching uh comment on i guess maybe what was your best flea market find that you've ever found whether you walked up and it was right there maybe someone handed it off to you maybe someone didn't want it what was your best flea market score 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose. Mm -hmm.